Now, have you heard of Lesotho? It is a country that exists within the territory of another country. It is situated entirely within the South African nation. Now, this landlocked nation wants its land back. Its parliament has now debated a motion to lay claim to the land that was seized by South Africa. Now, an opposition MP wants to declare South Africa's free state and parts of four other provinces as Lesotho's territory. The people of Lesotho, if called Basotho, live in these areas until the 19th century. When they were seized by white South Africans, many Basotho still live in South Africa, especially in the free state. The lawmaker has said that it is time for what is the land that belongs to Lesotho to be returned back to Lesotho. The motion is presently under discussion in Lesotho's parliament and if things go according to plan, then Lesotho would of course grow from the current area of 30,000 square kilometers to about 240,000 square kilometers. Now in a sharp retort, Clayson Moniella has rubbished Lesotho's MP's claims. He has urged him to respect the boundaries as recognized by international law and the United Nations. A non-issue um, that, that doesn't deserve any attention from anyone. Um, this is a motion proposed by some opposition MP, um, a lone ranger, doesn't even enjoy the support of the majority party uh, in Lesotho. Uh, so the debate is a non-debate. Um, that's the first thing. Secondly, the 1964 declaration of the OAU in Cairo um, resolved on the issue of uh, colonial borders, that those are the borders that are recognized in international law uh, by the continent, including the United Nations. And so there's no single country that can wake up and seek to adjust its borders with its neighbors. Um, uh, it's a futile exercise that does not deserve no warrant a response uh, by South Africa in the context of this thing. The landlocked kingdom of Lesotho is largely mountainous with limited agricultural space. Now the former British protectorate is heavily dependent on South Africa and over the decades thousands of workers have migrated to South African mines seeking a better life. And Vyond's correspondent, Calden Ongmu, has in fact sent us this report from Johannesburg. Listen. In. Lesotho lawmakers are debating whether the country should seek to reclaim some of the land in South Africa. Leader of the BCM opposition party, Tsepo Di Polo, put forward the motion on Wednesday, aiming to have the parliament declare South Africa's whole of Free State Province, parts of Northern Cape, Eastern Cape, Mpumalanga, and parts of KwaZulu-Natal Province as the territory of the Kingdom of Lesotho. Officials said the motion was not passed on Wednesday, but was taken for amendment. The House will once again discuss the motion today. If the motion passes in the Assembly, it would kick off the process that could see the territorial claim turned into law. However, experts claim this is not going to be easy and it is going to take a while. Meanwhile, South African government has been silent on the matter and has not responded to queries. This is Calden Olmo from Johannesburg, South Africa, for We On, World is One.